Okay, hello and welcome to the third Microsoft Visual Basic 2008 programming tutorial. Here we're going to get into what is probably one of the most used parts of any programming language, which is a variable. A variable is something that can hold it can hold data and then you can use it at a further point. Let me give you an example. So first file new project. We're going to name this variables. Okay? And we're going to create a simple message box application. And if, if you don't know how to do that, please watch the previous tutorial. So we'll have message box that show, and then we'll have our parentheses and we'll have our quotations. Right now, up here, we're going to declare a variable. To declare a variable, first type dim, which it basically means declare. So this means declare. And then next we've got to give it a name. This can be anything that you want. So we're going to call this message content. And then we need to declare it as either a string or an integer. So we type as, and in this case it's going to going to be a string. So we're going to declare message content as a string. Then we do an equal sign to give it a value. And then strings always have to be in quotations so we'll have two quotations and inside we'll have we'll have whatever we want let's just put variables are cool and we don't need quotations here by the way sorry okay so when you're using a variable you don't need to use quotations so in here where it has message box that show we can simply type message content and then hopefully this should display the text string variables are cool there we go that's because here we, it, we're basically saying declare the variable message content as a string and the value equals variables are cool so when we do the message box where the variable is here it's going to output the string variables are cool well, let me just show you something else we can do we can just have another message box and we can have message content and then message content again for the title so if we play this, this is going to show two message boxes in a row variables are cool and then up here variables are cool for the title and variables are cool for the text now we can also declare a variable as an integer which we dim, which is declare my number as integer, which is a number, equals, and when we declare a number variable or when we use numbers, we don't need quotations. So we'll declare my number as 10. And then let's say we want another message box here. Message box dot show my number. That's basically going to output 10. And there we are, 10. Okay, well that's all for variables. It's easy concept to, to grasp. But if you don't understand it, just watch the video again. And if you do understand it, then it's, it's you really useful for programming. It, it might seem a bit pointless right now, but once you get into programming, you're going to use variables a lot. So n now that's over, you can please comment with any suggestions, questions or requests and rate the video and subscribe.